All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This your man Griff. Try to get this microphone just a little bit closer so I'm not talking so loud that I'm waking everybody up in the house. <laughs> all right, what's going on, party people? This your man Griff with a nice try to make this a quick video to discuss the registration or sign up. Um, how did I call this? I'm forgot. Understanding the signing company registration process. That's it. Understanding the signing company's registration process. Um, every now and then I start getting questions about how to sign up for a signing company, how to get on these platforms, what are their requirements? Do I really need to have this? Do I need to have that? I was, you know, some people are told these various different things. Some people are just coming to their own conclusion that, well, maybe I don't need this. And because some of this information is just not like just out there in front of you saying you do or you don't. Um, and SnapDocs has information on there that, you know, about whether you need an NNA certification or not. But it's not apparent. It's just not like there unless you really <clears throat> look it up. So. I figured I said, let me come on here and talk about it. And the reason why I really haven't talked about it before is because there's so many other great videos out there. I mean, SnapDocs themselves has videos out there on how to get on a platform on their platform. The problem is that people are starting to sort of, and in my opinion, like nitpick like. Well, do I need to do this? And really, do I need to do that? And my perspective is whatever they ask you for, that's what you give them. And the other problem, now the problem with that statement is not every company is asking for the same thing. In general, they're asking for the same thing. They're asking for your e &O insurance, your background check, your notary certification or your notary, your commission, your notary commission, not certification, your notary commission. Um... And those are the three main things. And then maybe some other stuff here and there. But all of them ask for those three things. e &O insurance, your note, proof of your notary commission, along with, you know, with the expiration date. And um, I forgot already. Um, and your background check. So those are the main things. OK. And your W-9 and your W-9. So those are the main things now. Other things that a company can ask for, ID verification, meaning your driver's license and NNA certification. Now, here's where the mix up that I've been finding out from people. And um, I was talking to some people over the last couple of months. And a lot of people are getting the NNA membership, the hotline membership mixed up with the NNA certification. They are not the same. Two totally different things. The NNA certification is about you being certified as a notary signing agent. The NNA notary, um, the NNA hotline membership is to get help. That's it. So there's no company out there that asks you for your NNA. Are you an NNA hotline membership person? You know, your NNA membership. Now, they may ask you for your um, your NNA number, because when you sign up with the NNA, you get a number. That's associated with your account. OK, when you sign up to take those courses and stuff, there's a number that's associated with you. They may ask for that. So. There's all these different, you know, and there's these different ideas that, well, I don't need to be in a certified. Well, let's see what. Let's see what SnapDoc says. Um, let me pull this up real quick. And then share this screen out to y'all. All right. So if you're on Snap Docs, if you're on Snap Docs, you click down here on this little orange button, and then you type in what you're looking for. And in this case, I type in, I had typed in credentials. So one of the things, how to check notary credentials. And then it tells you over here, and sorry if that's so small. There we go. So it tells you how to check a notary's credentials, 
credentials. One of these tools, you know, of viewing um, credentials, we encourage notaries to upload many different types of credentials. And these are the credentials that they ask for. Okay. These are the credentials and it tells you how to go about doing it and everything. Now, one of the questions is, um, do you need to be NNA? So it says, you know, what type of credentials can be uploaded? And it'll tell you the type, the W-9, your notary commission, your background check, your ENO, ID verification. Now, for some platforms, they want your driver's license. Other platforms do not. So if they ask for it, you give it. If they don't, you don't worry about it. Your notary bond, if that's applicable. Title insurance producer license, if that is applicable. If you're in Maryland or Indiana, you must upload that. Closing agent license, if you're commission located or commissioned in Minnesota, you can upload your closing agent license to submit for verification. While your closing agent license does not count towards being SnapDocs verified, many companies do look for signing agents to provide proof that they are licensed closing agents. So that one and the next one. Some companies prefer to work with signing agents who are NNA certified. SnapDocs does not require notary signing agents to be NNA certified. However, if you are you can follow the instructions here to easily show companies that you have been NNA certified and SnapDocs is not affiliated. Now, somebody's probably saying right now, well, Griff, you said just give them upload it. And this is why, you know, I'm, I'm, I already know. And most notaries should know that you're getting NNA certified because somebody wants that certification. Now the platform SnapDocs may not care, but the companies that use SnapDocs does. So if they care, then you need to do what? Upload it. Stop trying to split hairs over this. Okay. Now, if you are in a certified, then you upload it. If you are not, then, then you just have to roll without it and just know that there are companies who will not select you. Now, the next question you're saying, well, which companies are they? I don't know. And I don't know how to find out. I've never heard snap docs or anybody say who is and who, who does and who does not want a notary who's NNA certified. That's simple. I don't know. So it's better to be safe than sorry, as they say. You upload it. That's all you need to do. You just upload that information to them. Okay. One of the other issues, um, come back to y'all for a second. One of the other issues while I pull this other thing up is notaries having a hard time getting in contact with companies on, and this one here, this is signature closers. On Signatures Closes website, on their main page, all you have to do, you scroll down here, there's their phone number, there's their email address, or you can submit something there. Um, how fast they get back to you, I don't know. Here's the closing exchange. On the closing exchange website, down here in the corner, because everybody said they have a hard time finding their number. Down here in the corner, it says need assistance. Two numbers pop up. Questions about orders, for technical support, login, password, uploading, etc. You call that number. It's two different numbers. That's how you get in contact with the closing exchange. The bottom line is if you take a little time out and search through these sites, you can pretty much find the answers that you're looking for. Now, I'm saying all of this because the requirements can change monthly, daily, whenever they want. And asking other notaries about 
what the requirements are for a signing company platform for a platform as either the signing company or the actual signing platform may be fruitless sometimes because that notary like myself may not be up to date on that now i know you may say well you seem knowledgeable or they seem knowledgeable so i figure i just ask you instead of wasting my time you know your time saying you wasted your time trying to find out the answer you for yourself you do need to take time out and this is what notaries are getting taken advantage of you do need to try to find out information for yourself I know it can be a daunting task, but you will be the better for it. Am I saying don't call me? No, but on certain things, you do need to take the responsibility to try to get the answer for yourself. And understanding what their requirements are really should come from them, your dialogue with them. And partly because the more we dialogue with them, the more we keep asking them, maybe they will update their websites and put the information out there because now they're constantly getting inundated with phone calls and emails about what's this, what's that. And if the information isn't readily, clearly articulable on the website, then they may need to change that, but they won't know if we don't communicate to them. You know, you're asking them, talking to them and say, well, you know, it took me 15 clicks to find the information. Maybe y'all can make it a little bit easier. It took me, you know, this amount of time um, or I found it, but it really wasn't clear. You know what I'm saying? You need to communicate that to them so that they'll realize, OK, well, maybe we need to make an adjustment. If you don't complain, if and I, it's not I don't even consider complaining, if you don't bring it to their attention of the difficulties you're having to understand how to sign up with them, they may never change because they don't, because nobody's saying that there's a, they're having difficulties. That's why it's important for you to communicate with them. It does take time. Yes. I know a lot of people want to shortcut the process and like, just give me the answer and just tell me what I need to know, but you still haven't learned. Okay. And it is best for you to learn and then get that support from somebody um, afterwards, you know, um, also, you know, get some support off of what you've learned. So just like down here in this corner, uh, let me see, let me do it this way. Oops, wrong way. So down here in the um, this here says they're online. So they even have online help. You can type in your name, email, and your question and start a chat session with them. Um, so let's give that a try. Let's go. Okay. Let's see what they say. I mean, this is how simple this can be. And let's see what they, let's see what comes out of it. <laughs> you know, so this person, all right, they hopping up here and, um, and let's see what they say. And if you ever run across this video, Miss Samantha Piazza, thank you for your help. So these are the kind of things that I did in the beginning. You know, I would do these chat sessions. I would call them, talk to them, and then just be polite and respectful. Okay. So the requirements vary um, from company to company. Let's see. Hmm. 
So that's not okay. So let me make this bigger. So what she's saying is please disregard fidelity release, trade <clears throat> consent form references and closing USA acknowledgement. Just upload what you have. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm asking is a valid, you know, unexpired driver's license required. Now she might be looking up my, okay. So she says, yes. All right. All right. Have a great evening. So it's that simple. When you want to know, and again, I'm not trying to be um, funny here, people. I always believe, and she says you as well. <laughs> I'm an advocate for in chat session. I'm an advocate for going to the source. Okay. So if the, if where you want to be is on CX choice, if you want to be on signing order, if you want to be on this platform or that platform, go to them and find out from them, hear it for yourself. There's sometimes it's not good or it's not the best move to say, Hey, you notary person that's not associated, affiliated with where I want to be or what I'm trying to do, tell me what you what you got. Tell me what I should do. That can be very, very dangerous and sometimes can get you misled because if the person doesn't know the intricacies, they could give you the wrong information. Also, if you don't communicate it properly, you see what I'm saying? If you don't communicate it, so let's just say you're trying to get on to Snap Docs, but you're like, I don't want to do the, you know, do I need to do the NNA certification? Do I need to upload that? Well, the the baseline answer is yes. But if you haven't told the person that, well, the reason why I'm questioning it, because I don't have the money to do it or, you know, to do the test, to, to pay for the test and do it. But I want to get on Snap Docs because I have everything else. I just don't have that. Or I pay for it, but I, for whatever reason, I keep failing. I can't pass it. And I really want to take these tests, but I keep getting people asking me, am I a snap docs? Because they want to use me. They want to use my, um, want to use me to do closings, but they're also telling me I need to be snap docs. I mean, NNA certified and I'm struggling. So do I really need that? So you see what I'm saying? So you got to be clearer on what you're actually, what is the intent by your, behind your question? That's why I always ask y'all, you know, give me, you know, the, the context, because if it's just you asking me just this blanket question saying, do I need to do this? Well, well, yeah, well, just give them what they ask for. But if the reason why you're asking is because there's this other issue. Then that may that's going to interfere with me being able to give you the right answer. So that's part of the reason why I'm doing this video is basically also saying if you have a question and there's other circumstances that are involved, which is why you're asking that may need to be disclosed so that I can give you the proper answer. And I did a video about that called business communications. Um, and I'll try to remember to link it up here. Um, remember the time 1940. So that's key to me at least. Okay. So if you're asking a question about, do I need to sign up for these platforms? Should I, be, especially if you've been told differently, if you've been told by somebody that, hey, you don't really need to sign up for them, then that will be good for me to know. So now I understand your mindset is that you don't really want to do it, but you feel like you have to because, 
one group of people saying do it, other people saying don't. The bottom line is simply this, and I know I'm probably going way too long for this here topic. Once you understand what they want, you give them what they want. If you don't have the ability to give them what they want, then either you work toward getting it or you just roll without it. And you have to be mindful of asking people who may not be versed or even well versed or versed at all in what's going on with these platforms for us, their requirements. Do they really require? Do they? I mean, up until a couple of months ago, I didn't even know that the NNA certification wasn't required by Snap Docs. I didn't know that. I honestly didn't know that. I just knew that I got the certification. They had a spot for it. They said you can upload it. I'm going to upload it. I never questioned it. They haven't had any reason to question it. But now I'm hearing people say, well, you don't even have to do that. So now you're questioning it. And then you ask me, who never questioned it and never had a reason to question it, I really couldn't give you the proper answer. I really couldn't. And the best answer would be to contact them. And ask them, you know, um, that's that's really where it's at, people. That's really, really where it's at. So I hope this clarified. So and I'm not and I know somebody might be upset or mad. This has nothing to do directly with you. It's a culmination of these questions coming to me, especially since May and um. And I've had some heated discussions with people over this because they're upset with the signing companies or they're upset with that somebody didn't tell them. And I'm like, there's nothing I can do about that. You don't want to do it. You don't feel you need to do it. However, you are NNA certified, but you don't want to do it for whatever reason. You don't want to give them the credential. That's between you and them because that's their platform. It's not mine. So I can't control <clears throat> what they allow and don't allow and i can't tell you to do or not to do all i can say is if they ask for it and you have it and you have no legit reason not to do it then provide them with the information that they desire otherwise you'll be sitting on the sideline not getting as many opportunities as you so desire so again i hope that clarified everything for everybody um I'm trying to think if there anything else that I needed to mention um, to show y'all. I don't think so. So I think we are good. I think we're good. So feel free to ask questions in the comment section or what have you. If I wasn't clear on something, just say so. Let me know and I will clarify it. Okay. Because um, y'all know that's how I do. All right. Y'all have a good one.